uh, technology uh, that we introduce to the market and enables uh, smartphone applications to interact with the vehicle. Uh, for example, we, uh, a smartphone app using the Apple SDK can get access to voice recognition engines uh, embedded in, uh, in the vehicle and it can receive uh, button press events from the vehicle. Um, so all those capabilities uh, allows applications to deliver a much better improved in-vehicle experience uh, for the driver. So, and, and this also gives applications a differentiating point uh, against their competitors. Just look at how a, a normal people would use a mobile app today without app. So he'll get in the car, he'll have his phone on his side, but he starts driving, right? And uh, when he wants to use the application, he's to, his eyes will steer away from the road, and uh, one hand will reach for the phone, and he'll look at the phone screen. Of course, at the same time, he cannot look at the road. This has a, has a, has a serious, serious uh, safety risk. But with AppLink, you, once you're in the car, uh, the phone is paired, by Bluetooth with the, with the, with the car uh, entertainment, infotainment system. In our case, it's our, our sync platform. And uh, the application can send notifications through the, uh, through the vehicle audio or display something on the, on the head unit. And uh, the user uh, can use uh, the buttons on the wheel or use voice commands to control the apps. And all the interactions can be done without the user's eyes off the road or hands off the wheel. We at Ford realized that uh, uh, a infotainment, a proprietary infotainment system uh, in a vehicle cannot meet the increasing demand of uh, a smartphone savvy uh, customers because uh, the smartphone has grown explosively. Today, people will consume a lot of information exclusively on their smartphone and they certainly want to do this in the vehicle. And uh, from a technology point of view, it is not possible to have all those apps installed, embedded in a, in a, in a vehicle head unit. Uh, it's just from cost perspective, from timing perspective, it's just not possible. So Ford decided to take it from a, a different angle. Uh, our approach is to uh, provide a technology called AppLink that bridges the vehicle infotainment with the smartphone. So the applications will still be running on smartphone, uh, but has the capability to, con to take control of, uh, to control the vehicle uh, or use some of the vehicle cap cap uh, capabilities. So with these, uh, the, the in-vehicle application experience are much, much more improved.